on that drive? And uh, I guess what was the celebration like afterwards? Um, well, let me start with Chubb. He's great. You know, I told Chubb before the game I was going to be open, so just get me in the box. So kind of just panned out for each other. I believe in Chubb. I love Chubb a lot, so it just worked out for us. And then the, the celebration, how Keyshawn came come running to, to celebrate with you, <laughs> just in general to have that reaction from teammates. What did that mean for yeah, you? Yeah, uh, Keyshawn, since I got here, you know, I, I've had struggles. I've had my struggles, and he's been with me since day one. You know, I definitely feel like if one person out of anybody I can call a brother for a lifetime is Keyshawn. You know, he's been with me since day one, so I wasn't surprised to see him be off the sideline at the most, you know, come celebrate with me. What do games like that do for you guys having a chance to build some confidence and, and get those game reps and, and, and really build something for yourself? Well, a game like UMass, I really felt like, you know, we did what we were supposed to do. We were supposed to dominate, and that's just what those types of games are. We're supposed to dominate. We're supposed to showcase our talent. No MAs, no missed assignments, no anything like that. We're supposed to, you know, almost play perfect. So I think we did what we were supposed to do. That was a good game. There was your celebration, obviously. I know there's a big celebration for Jarvis's touchdown. I think DJ as well. Just what does that speak to about the, the culture of this team and how it's grown? Um, I think one of the underrated parts of our team is how close we are as brothers. You know, it's a big brotherhood. Everybody gets along with everybody. You know, every team has this little, I guess, cat fights or whatever you want to call it. But, you know, we're all brothers at the end of the day. We all, anytime they score, I feel the same way. Anytime I score, they feel the same way. And it's, it was vice versa on both sides of the uh, ball. So it feels good. You mentioned um, going through struggles. What kind of things have you had to work on to try to get more playing time? Uh, just being a better receiver. You know, I don't really like to talk about the struggle because that was yesterday. I can't do too much about yesterday. So, you know, I just keep trying to get better, keep trying to be a better version of myself every day. And that's just what led me to here. What, what things have you gotten better at? Uh, everything. You know, I try to focus on every part of my game from catching, releases, routes, all that. So, you know, just overall being a better receiver. That's got me here. Jordan, you were here in 18 as a freshman when they came in here and kind of handled you guys. You went up there in 19. And Game was kind of over the first time. Mm -hmm. How much can you even explain how much different you feel about this team going into this game? Well, personally, I feel like we should dominate. Um, I don't, I don't see it no other way. I feel like every opponent we play is faceless, so it doesn't matter that it's them or, like I said, anything they did in the past. I can't control yesterday or anything in the past, so I feel like we should dominate. I feel like we do our job. We play we're supposed to play. We play as a team. We'll dominate. Is there a different sense of belief? Definitely, definitely. Just because of how hard we work. The guys I know who I'm lined up next to, like I said, our brotherhood is real underrated. So I know who I'm lining up next to. I know he has my back just like I got his, so it's all come together. The atmosphere up there, you've, you've witnessed it. Uh, how, do you, how do you handle that? Um, you just lock in, best your ability. I mean, you know, we have the crowd noise going at practice, and you can imitate as much as that you want to, but it's, it's really a game time feeling. I feel like with most players, once you get in the game, the crowd just becomes a blur. You don't really hear them. You don't pay attention to it. So you just got to stay focused, stay locked in. Anything else? All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.